What is art? It is response of man's creative soul to the call of the real. Ravindranath Tagore said this once. It is great to see how Ignite is connecting words and color through poet and artist, thereby becoming a bridge, an interesting experiment, a process of cross-pollination, and through this, coming up with the great new stories, creatively told. While we all miss the intimate physical world, we walk in, meet people, have conversation, going to gallery, being in studio. In this COVID, in power way, has helped us work around making things possible offline. The remote is much wider. Online has more possibility and scope of collaboration. Everything happened in mind first and then it manifests. By the time we come out of this long dark tunnel of uncertainty and scare, human race might have just perfected the approach for creativity and productive solutions. Ignite would be one of those ideas executed. I'm very impressed with the diversity of age, profile, region, and the way carefully the poet and the painters have been picked up. Clearly, they will have very, very exciting time working together. In the process, they would have reached some gaps, found newer self, and created some amazing art. Or maybe a new approach to their own work. Being a painter and a writer, you experience both art form in a very, very different manner. When you amalgamate this beautiful to different medium, your experience takes you to the New York play. World, words through their meaning and color with their vibrant presence give us a different insight of an expression. An artist create either a spontaneous reaction or maybe a well thought dialogue of his and her surrounding. In this imposed solitude, we are going through more or less similar order. In this shared solitude, at one hand, we are insulated in our own world and on the other hand, connected with people, with our surrounding by agonizing anxiety we are facing at the same time. In such exhibition, we shall get some more space to breathe, to feel connected, to feel creative, have an experience of joy and sharing. I'm sure all the participating artists and poets must have had a great time creating this unique show. I would like to thank Deepa Gopal for inviting me to give his opening address. I wish well for all the artists, poets, and for their health and happiness. Stay safe. Have a great festival ahead. Happy Diwali. Namaskar. Hello everyone. I am Deepa Gopal, the curator of this exhibition Ignite from Within the Confines. I'm a visual artist and an art blogger based in Dubai, basically from Kerala. I'm inclined towards both uh, painting and writing, in this context poetry. Uh, that was the seed and uh, that was what inspired me to come up with this concept and collaboration. It is experimental and uh, when I reached out to my friends, uh, it was pretty exciting because um, to my surprise they were all excited as I was and um, they were all immediately on board. So this exhibition brings together art and poetry from different parts of the world uh, through eight artists and eight poets. I'll give them the theme beforehand um, and I don't think that they gave a second thought about uh, being restricted under a theme as such uh, since they were all creating, writing during this time, uh, venting out in various forms of thought, not necessarily speaking about the pandemic alone. Um, they were in their own creative zones, tapping into their creative energy and uh, producing works that really mattered to them. This exhibition um, primarily focuses on uh, the creativity born out of pandemic, our reactions and responses to the current state that we are in. Um, 
it is but natural to feel desperate and listless at times and it could um, unravel a range of emotions you know, maybe a couple of uh, happy thoughts but mostly um, uh, dark some are hopeful some in limbo um, we are just exploring the more human uh, side of it to uh, register to contemplate to interpret to evaluate and execute to discuss uh, to be silent uh, to just be um, I would say that it's a kind of um, uh, conversation of the creatives trying to overcome their fears uh, find joy forget annihilate rebel um, or excel in their current state of life um, all the same ignite essentially instills hope Art and poetry instills hope and that is what we are trying to do here. Um, it is a small attempt um, to leave an imprint of today's times uh, for tomorrow. I paired each artist with a poet and it is quite amusing to see the kind of conversations it ignited, uh, the kind of um, uh, new amalgamations that it formed and, um, and, and it produced beautiful creative symphonies about me. Uh, I'm a visual artist and I write and I blog at Hues and Shades. Um, these are difficult times for all of us and we were all uh, confined and indoors. Uh, and to keep me going, I had to resort to something that I love doing best and that was painting and writing. Uh, and it became a kind of uh, daily or weekly journal where I was jotting down or registering my thoughts um, in, in words or um, in drawings and um, something it was uh, sometimes it was uh, something completely unrelated to the pandemic I just had to create something and this exhibition is the result of one such thought and now obviously a creation the limitless mind in general uh, and the inner workings of the feminine in particular captivates me the most uh, most of my works are autobiographical, myths, dreams, uh, people and their tales, their um, emotions and unbridled feelings uh, kindle my creative juices. My protagonists often um, uh, create a parallel realm. Uh, they enjoy detachment and solitude, but uh, they are rarely alone. And um, I love to delve on the uh, introspective emotional states or um, I would call mindscapes um, from a strong female presence and perspective. Adra Manasi is my pair and uh, she's a gorgeous poet from New York City. I met her through her poetry and it was quite wonderful to see um, her response to my work, the interpretations that she brought about and uh, it was overwhelming. And I think it is um, uh, quite uh, okay to say that every pair in this exhibition felt the same. I present to you Ignite from within the confines. Do join us in our creative journey. All the links are given below. Do follow us, check it out. Please do like, share, subscribe and spread the word. Thank you. Enjoy Ignite from within the confines. Hello. I am Ahlam Abbas, a Lebanese painter. I am holding a master's degree in fine arts and I am pursuing a PhD. I thank your invitation to the exhibition that have a great combination with poetry and painting. I am sure we are the painters and the poeters will form the pleasure and the hope to the world by this exhibition. Thank you very much again and wish to meet you very soon. Hello everyone, this is Anindita Chakraborty from Hyderabad. I was born in Tripura, which is in the extreme northeastern part of India. I am a visual artist residing and practicing in Hyderabad. My art practice shows a constant investigation of self, introspection or questioning self in a positive approach. I work mainly in oil on canvas. However, I am incorporating natural pigment in my artistic research since 2017. 
I'm researching how natural pigment or organic dye affects and brings accidental possibilities on paper and on treated fabric. This particular approach brings extra cautionary condition in my artistic practice and reflect the time we are living in. I'm glad to be part of this online exhibition titled Ignite. I would like to thank Deepa for inviting me. I'm really looking forward to see how uh, art and writing uh, nurture the process of thinking and creativity in this whole project. Please do share your views and information about this exhibition with your friends and colleagues. Take care, stay healthy, cheers. Hi everyone, this is Adra Manasi. I currently live in New York City, but I'm from Mavelikira in Anapura. I've been trained as a development practitioner and I'm, I currently work for a women's rights NGO, but prior to that I used to work with United Nations as a consultant. Alongside, I'm a poet. My works have been featured in journals and magazines in India, US and UK. I feel really privileged to be a part of this online exhibition. This exhibition, Ignite from Within Confines, to me, is an effort to capture the multiplicity of experiences that this pandemic and this whole lockdown period have brought about. For instance, in my case, during the early days of the lockdown period, in New York, it was called the New York State on pause. I felt very disoriented. I lost the sense of time when I was within this confined space. And there was this fear of imminent death and contagion. And you worry about your dear ones, the thought of dying alone on a ventilator. At the same time, I feel that this pandemic made me feel more present and observant. For instance, a tree outside my window or a ceramic ball in my kitchen suddenly started having new meanings. So these individual experiences, they are so varied. But at the same time, I feel that there is a thread of universality that connects it all. And to me, this exhibition is all about that. For this exhibition, I've been paired with artist and curator Deepa Gopal. I love Deepa's works. Her works explore the inner worlds of women. And that I feel overlaps with my own work in thinking. I've been still trying to work and rework on some of these poems. And I'm trying to capture how women experience this pandemic more at a very individual, personal, autobiographical level, and also more collectively. I invite you all, both readers and viewers, to be a part of this exhibition. And please do share your thoughts with us. I feel that this exhibition is more like a pandemic journal. We are all trying to document our experiences through different forms of self-expression, be it art or poetry. So this journey is yours as much as it's ours. I hope you all stay safe. Thank you. Dear friends, I'm Devan Managarli, an artist from Kerala, India. My paintings are based on my experiences and dreams. I had sketching regularly from my memories, readings and journeys. My works had some influences from Kerala traditional mural painting and North Indian miniature paintings. The current situation and this confine are not new to me. At another time, I had to go through a situation like this. But there is no doubt that such conditions will definitely help you to awaken your inner potential. Especially if you are an artist. This online exhibition is comprised of eight pages and eight poets. The poets creating poems from the paintings. I think the poets will come with good poems. You are all invited to watch this innovative event. At the same time, let your friends know about it as much as possible. Thanks. Hi everybody, this is Elora Mishra. 
I basically belong to Odisha Bhuvneshwar and uh, currently I am residing uh, in Netherlands along with my spouse and uh, five year old uh, son. Uh, so first of all I would like to thank uh, Deepa Gopal uh, for coming up uh, with this uh, great idea of collaboration uh, especially bringing uh, art and uh, poetry together. Uh, and uh, trying to do it uh, uh, as an online exhibition, uh, especially in these uh, dreary times of COVID. Uh, I must say that it is like a, a whiff of, uh, you know, fresh air for uh, all of us uh, art connoisseurs and uh, poetry writers. Um, uh, about me, uh, well, uh, uh, I have been uh, writing since childhood, I would say. Uh, but yeah, actually, uh, I have not been pursuing it uh, wholeheartedly uh, because of uh, various, uh, you know, uh, life happens and uh, various other endeavors of mine, uh, studies and uh, ambitions and uh, other things. Uh, so, uh, I actually uh, seriously started writing only when I started uh, my blog, uh, when I started to work. Uh, but yes, I have not been uh, really consistent uh, on it either and uh, I've been uh, writing on and off so far uh, that is from the year 2006 so yes, it's been uh, 14 years since then um, and uh, it was uh, difficult to juggle between my corporate job and uh, writing so far uh, so basically I uh, Seriously, uh, started writing only after uh, I landed in Netherlands um, and uh, with my spouse um, and uh, tried to explore myself better and uh, COVID has played a great role in that, I would say, especially in these confines uh, when you have nothing better to do. So you try to fall back on your uh, 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 safe haven or uh, how do you call it your happy place maybe and uh, writing has always been my happy place since childhood uh, which i have been escaped uh, which i have been escaping to from time to time so that's what i did during these confines also and when uh, deepa came up uh, with this idea of uh, ignite from within uh, in the confines it uh, really uh, resonated very well with me because this is a time when I actually explored myself and uh, uh, I have uh, uh, written a book during this period on poetry which I never thought was possible in the first place uh, and when uh, the topic uh, was really something I could connect to uh, especially because uh, I have actually followed uh, that during this confine uh, I could not help but uh, jump into this. What I expect from uh, this event is to collaborate uh, with more like-minded people, uh, get to know more art and uh, poems and poetry uh, of other uh, veterans and learn from them to write better and do better. Uh, so I would just like to uh, conclude this uh, inviting uh, everybody to uh, you know uh, cheer us uh, take part in the exhibition uh, do uh, spread the love and uh, yes i look forward to a great time ahead thank you hello everyone uh, my name is german fernandez and i am an artist and designer from peru and i am happy to participate in this project organized by dipagopal around the idea of Ignite within the confines about creating in this time of isolation, uh, which uh, which is a project which pairs uh, five visual artists and five poets around this topic. So I am presenting five works I created during the time of lockdown and quarantine. And are these are drawings that deal somehow they are like uh, notes taken during this time which uh, in which I, I try to express different uh, feelings and reflections about uh, isolation, melancholy, loneliness, but also about creativity uh, in the sense that uh, how we try to move forward and to continue with our daily lives with uh, this new situation. 
it's interesting this project because uh, it can surprise you in what you expect about uh, how people can interpret and understand the image you create and who better than a poet to find new meanings in this image so uh, for me it's a experience that bring has a lot of potential and bring a lot of opportunities as as feedback and also as a, as a cre new creation itself a creation that gives a opportunity to more creations i hope you like all the works that we will show in this project and share them in your social media thank you Hello, my name is Gitanjali Kolanad. Uh, I'm a dancer, came to writing from dance, and I live in Toronto. I'm working on my second novel after Girl Made of Gold came out with Juggernaut Press in August. And I'm also writing a non-fiction book about dance in India. I found this process of Ignite from within the confines very fascinating. It's a wonderful idea and it's one that writers have used many times whenever they find that uh, they get stuck. It's called ekphrasis and I've used it uh, whenever I feel like I don't know what to write. An image often sparks that inspiration. I'm looking forward very eagerly to see what the other artists have uh, come up with and the writers that uh, write from that. And uh, I want everyone to see it, so please um, look at the online exhibition. I'm sure it'll be fascinating. And share this with others. Thank you very much. Hello, my name's Joseph Schreiber. I'm a writer and editor from Calgary, Alberta, and Western Canada. Writing has always been an important aspect of my professional life and my volunteer commitments. However, I was in my mid-50s before I was ready to venture forth publicly with my own creative writing. I began with a blog called Rough Ghosts, which I started with no particular direction apart from answering my long-standing desire to write. Before long, my attention turned to writing about books, at first casually, then more seriously, and eventually I was invited to contribute critical reviews to online journals. This positive experience gave me the confidence to begin to write personal essays. My prose style is often broken and fragmented with a close attention to sound and rhythm, almost prose poem-like. From there, attempts to create poems arose. I do, however, consider myself to be an accidental poet. It is the theme or idea that drives the writing process, and I have to date considered everything I write to be nonfiction that is based on real experience. The present project has offered me a unique opportunity to explore writing in response to someone else's images, and that's very exciting. The theme of this show, Ignite from Within the Confine, speaks to me most directly as a desire to light a spark during these unfamiliar conditions in which we found ourselves. At the beginning of the pandemic, many writers and artists were immediately inspired to record and document the experience of being under siege by an invisible enemy. This spawned a host of lockdown diaries and COVID-themed writing. At the magazine where I'm an editor, we were inundated with such material. And then, as months passed, the enthusiasm died down Attempts at resuming normal life were made, and for many of us, putting words to paper became increasingly difficult. However, the pandemic is not over. 
we can now see that masks and distancing and restrictions on activities will be with us for some time. The end is distant. We find ourselves confined in more ways than one. To ignite from within this state of psychological, emotional, and physical confinement is a vital act. We need to be able to continue to address the situation, express our fears, our tedium, and even our joys, the things we have learned about ourselves, our revived interests, new hobbies, and activities. What better way to kickstart creative energy that might be dampened than to start a fire? Metaphorically, of course. That is what I hope this show will do for those of us who participate and for those who view our virtual exhibition. Art and poetry are still alive. Come and see. Hi, I'm Lauren Rudolph and I am an artist and teacher. And when I think about what draws me to uh, creation and what draws me to portraits, what comes up for me is that it's about connection, connection to the human spirit and to the deeper questions of, you know, why are we here? What is this essence that we bring into our lives? And painting and creating is a way for me to explore that. It's a way for me to come back to my center, to be very, very present and to connect to humanity. So it just combines all of the things that I guess are true to my nature um, there's a sensory uh, effect, you know, by painting and, and even scribbling on paper or canvas. There's a, a, a tactile connection. There's a visual connection where I see color, shapes, images merge to create something beyond, you know, just the, the blank paper or canvas. Um, there's the spirit that comes in when the subject comes to life. So it's kind of like a magical experience for me. and. Uh, every time it's, it's something beyond what I know is going to happen. It's, it's full of surprises and full of openness and that great obsessive energy that I could bring into it when something isn't going right and it's kind of going in the wrong direction, just keep showing up, keep trying, keep bringing myself into it. So art to me is just bringing my, my full self into this life and I could do that through creating my portraits. And then the other side of it too is the subject. Uh, if I paint somebody who I know, I can bring their essence out into the world. Somehow an energy from them or what they have to say is coming through. So it's all encompassing and it's such a gift to be able to do work like this because it is way beyond just, you know, people think of art as something that might decorate your house or, you know, something pretty to look at, but it's really about humanity and the, the human spirit and you know, using your hands to, to bring something out of nothing that becomes something or that is something that we can see and then it becomes something tangible. So that's it, I guess. That's kind of part of what inspires me, you know, bringing energy out into the world through a creative channel um, and making that connection. So that's all. That's, that's it kind of basically in only so many words. So thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Liz Ramos Prado and I am a Peruvian artist. I am here to tell you a little bit about my work, the work I, I have been uh, doing during these uh, um, coronavirus times and about how I spend my time uh, developing this uh, series of drawings that I, I've been uh, producing during all these uh, last months. I am living in London currently. I'm very happy here to share with you this um, experience uh, during these uh, difficult times. And I'm glad uh, Deepa invited me to this uh, online exhibition. My work is always a uh, focus on the feminine figure also reflecting the uh, personality and power and sensibility of we women 
the inspiration I find is from the people I know, from the people I talk with, and their surroundings, and create these uh, spaces and to narrate the stories. So my work is very personal, and during this lockdown, uh, the inspiration came more about this encounter with uh, isolated moments. It was really uh, interesting how the silence, sudden silence, affected my work and it gave me more um, inspiration about connecting with the self and how to process emotions. Uh, but the emotions connected not, um, not anymore with uh, what is happening uh, around, but more about a very introspective um, reflection about uh, personal beliefs and how we communicate with people, how important is connecting with others and how all these interactions affect at the end uh, our own lives. So my, my drawings are uh, it's most a series of, uh, as I mentioned, self-reflection, introspection, uh, recognizing of the self in a, a space of solitude and a, a moments, a lot of moments of silence and uh, being uh, with the self. I hope you enjoyed this uh, creative collaborative exhibition um, that you find interesting, my work and also the work of this uh, great uh, group of uh, fellow artists. And, uh, and invite you to um, visit the website and share and, and spread the word about this uh, great initiative. Thank you very much. Hi, uh, my name is Minnie and I'm a writer and English language trainer based in uh, Kochi, Kerala. I've been here since 2019, uh, before which I was in the UAE for around 14 years. Um, uh, my husband of 28 years, uh, Shiva Kumar Tekepat, is a journalist uh, still based in the UAE. I have two sons, Anirudh and Aditya, both young men, uh, both into design. One is uh, working and the other is studying. Um, yeah, I uh, am an only child. I grew up as an only child to my parents and I had quite a fragmented childhood. Uh, I grew up in uh, Palakkad. Uh, district in central Kerala. I grew up in two places, uh, both villages and uh, you know a typical village, Kerala village, uh, both typical Kerala villages with uh, uh, you know temples and temple temple ponds and trees and all those things around and uh, all of them have uh, influenced all of this you know um, the places I grew up in, the uh, people I grew up with the situations I often found myself in, all these have influenced my writing. I'm also a, quite a political being. Um, however much I try, I cannot uh, not be influenced by or affected by what is happening around me. So uh, you can see that all of these have found their way uh, into my writing. The confinement has been harsh on everyone. I don't think anyone had a great time but um, if we were to be honest a lot we are all privileged I, I guess if you are sitting here and watching you and I we are all privileged beings and a lot of people have had to deal with un, um, unspeakable misery so you know you you kind of uh, have to acknowledge that even uh, in your writing um, Ignite is a beautiful idea that uh, Deepa Gopal has, um, uh, you know, come up with, and I can't thank her enough for inviting me to a part of it because um, I had strayed quite uh, far from writing because, uh, or rather, in settling down here and uh, finding my feet, and then soon followed by the pandemic, I had strayed quite far away from uh, writing, and this has come as a sort of uh, centering you know and i'm very grateful for that also it would be very interesting to share one's own uh, perspective of the confinement now um, i was paired with uh, yamini mohan an artist uh, whose works i have no words to describe honestly i just hope i was able to do some justice uh, to what she has done 
you know and once again i thank you thank uh, everyone uh, the entire team uh, the artists the, the other poets and deepa and all of you uh, for this wonderful opportunity thank you so much hey everyone uh, this is namrata and uh, this is my invite to you to an exhibition that i'm part of uh, the theme of this exhibition is ignite from within the confines and it's uh, curated and put together by deepa gopal it is a collaboration between eight poets and eight artists and uh, before i go in uh, to the um uh, about the details of the exhibition a little bit about myself um i'm from bangalore my uh, husband also loves to write i have two little sons and uh, i'm not one of those who can say that i always warned you that i wanted to write in fact um i was a lover of math and uh, science I had a career in engineering and it was only when I took a break and I was trying to get back to work um I did a course in digital marketing where they said um you know go and start a blog and that's when I started writing and um I fell in love with writing more so with poetry and um i love to um use a lot of imagery in my poems i love to experiment a lot and um i have been trying to have a greater impact through my words and that's where uh, this exhibition uh, by deepa gopal came as a, a wonderful opportunity for me and um about the theme of this uh, exhibition it is called uh, ignite from within the confines so my interpretation of uh, this theme is um that you know what has actually inspired me what has been burning inside me what has kept me going uh, all these months in which we have been uh, stuck indoors um also um my interpretation through this is how i as a poet can um influence ignite what can i what conversations i can start in the minds of uh, the uh, my readers and um i have been paired with a wonderful artist uh the mr uh, devan madan garli sir and his uh, work is uh, so beautiful full of vivid colors and uh, it's so mesmerizing and the thought process behind his work is uh, truly uh, amazing and i hope uh, i have done justice to his uh, work through my words and with this i again invite all of you uh, to attend this exhibition and share and spread the word about this exhibition with your family and friends thank you see you there i am radha gomati and this is my self intro video for your wonderful collaborative venture called it night that attempts to bring together women who draw with women who write i do both and uh, in this particular one i have chosen to be a writer and you have paired me up with anandita chakraborty of tripura whose work uh, contains that same quality of vulnerability pain and body centricity that i think also matches up with my own practice and um, i studied for a year at nid followed by baroda and shantiniketan though life has been the biggest university ever and uh, what is special about ignite is that it actually tells us that it, corona or political emergency or whatever it is you cannot keep uh, creative spirits apart because they are meant to ignite one another and spread the light wherever possible so that we are able to gather the courage and the ability to see into the darkness that we ourselves carry with it and um, right now i had a little women's upcycling unit working with tailoring waste called sling it and i'm also curator coordinator partnering with my creative partner thomas agasti in a platform called ekrasa whose tagline says it all because it's art for all for art
So art is not just about you know sculpting, painting, acting, whatever. It's about keeping safe, a quality of mind that is not afraid to reflect upon itself. Thank you, Deepa. Really looking forward to the results of Ignite. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Namaste. I join you today to talk about a unique collaboration of artists and poets from across the world called Ignite from within the confines, curated by Deepa Gopal. I'm Sonia from Delhi, India. I have been a teacher in the past, a content creator and translator for a children's magazine and work as a copy editor and a proofreader. But most people know me as a writer who blogs at a hundred quills. Well, I would say like every other writer, writing is an expression of my thoughts, my desires, my feelings. I think we live in a world where we are constantly taught to keep our feelings to ourselves, our choices, our fears, everything about our lives. So writing helps me to break those shackles. It helps me to overcome those apprehensions. In fact, I would say my writing is not only a voice, my own voice, it is also a voice of all those who feel like me but are unable to express themselves. I'm glad that my writing has resonated with many people and I too have found several like-minded people in this journey. One such person is Deepa who is an exemplary artist and a writer. I met Deepa during one of the blogging challenges and I must say she has inspired me tremendously with her work. So when she reached out to me to be a part of Ignite, I knew that I would say a yes even before I had received the official mail for this unique collaboration. Ignite, for isn't that what art is supposed to do? To light up from within? to show hope, to lead us, to help us sustain when everything around us is crumbling. And what better time to do it but now, when the world is dealing with a pandemic and when life feels abysmal and low. I am paired with artist Ehlam Abbas from Lebanon and I am so, so excited to pen for Ehlam's amazing art pieces. Friends, this is a unique endeavour, a unique effort by artists and poets from across borders and I hope you will all lend it your support and together we shall ignite from within the confines. Hello everyone, I am Yamini Mohan from Kerala. Right now I am residing in Dubai working as an art teacher. I did my graduation in painting from College of Fine Arts at Trivandrum. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to Deepa Gopal for giving me such a wonderful opportunity in this initiative, Ignite from Within. Uh, we uh, All we know, we are going through such a situation that uh, we, we never expect. Uh, still, uh, her thought is different and she, she find out our, our creative minds will never stop wherever we are even we are inside the home even we are uh, tied up with so many things but still we can ignite the creativity inside us so i am very glad to participate in this wonderful event with the collaboration of uh, like-minded people of some poets and uh, my artworks mostly conveys the human emotions as uh, right now uh, we got some more chances to create because we are not going for our usual works so we got i think this uh, covid time gave us to ignite more our creativities even for me also i tried some creative uh, create some creativity inside me mostly my works are in charcoal i try to express all my emotions through my charcoal and that's the my most comfortable medium and uh, it's the happiest moment that i can spread my one uh, artwork through this wonderful event and i am so excited to uh, participate and uh, share our ideas with the uh, like-minded peoples and with you and uh, as this uh, nowadays all all our things are going through online so 
this is a wonderful situation to spread all our creativity and uh, we need all your support uh, so uh, spread our this initiatives all promotions and like our uh, and we need all your support so i am inviting all you for our this event and um, make it uh, in the way of success thank you so much thank you